So this is the Terra 6L6 PP integrated amp from Brunoco. This amp comes to us from South Korea. It offers 20 watts of channel, class A, zero negative feedback. This tube amp is auto biasing. You don't have to do anything. There's no screws to turn, no buttons to push. This is auto bias through and through. It has an ultra linear output transformer, all tube AC heating, a 300 watt class power transformer, choke transformer rectification, four RCA inputs. The tube assortment consists of four 12AU7s and four 6L6 tubes. The amp comes in at around 50 pounds, and again, it comes to us from South Korea. Let's talk about what this amp sounds like, what it's built like, and all of the good stuff you want to know. This is a amp that is basically a simple amp. It's an analog amp. It's like an old school amp in the way that you have your four inputs, your input selector, and your volume as well as your speaker taps. There's no digital stuff inside of this tube amplifier, so there's no streamer, there's no DAC. It's basically just providing the amplification. And what a tube amp this is. Now, I've listened to, reviewed, owned many tube amps in life. And if I look back and cycle through my brain as to which brand, which model really, really got me excited and uh, touched my heart and soul, as I always like to say, I'm thinking back to those early line magnetic integrated amps. I remember that 219 IA just being big, luscious sounding, warm and rich thing was 100 pounds. I think it cost 7,500 at the time, but that was a beautiful amp from Line Magnetic made in China. This amp I'm talking about today is from Brunoco, and they are in South Korea, and they created a tube integrated amp that not only looks beautiful, it's built beautifully as well. The design is stunning. It's a little industrial, but it's really simple and solid and nice. This thing comes in at close to around 50 pounds, so it's not a lightweight, but it's not a backbreaker at the same time, so it's manageable. Uh, what I love about this amp is the striking beauty of it, the simplicity, the purity of it. There's something about a tube amp, at least when I hook up a tube amp, um, that just gets a reaction from my heart. Um, tube amps, I don't know if it's a retro thing, a vintage thing, a thinking back to the good old golden days of audio that bring these thoughts into my brain and heart. But I'm telling you, when I put this amp in place of the solid state amps I've been listening to, the Access Forte 1, the Daniel Hertz Maria, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, the sound was different, but it was different in a beautiful way. One feature of this amp that I noticed very clearly is the layering, and that is a beautiful way to reproduce a sound stage. It's a very realistic way. So this amp here, this XL6 Terra, produces a very um, organic but realistic sound stage that is layered with depth. You're getting depth from this amp. And I tested this amp with several speakers. I tested it with my closer acoustic Augies and bass open baffle units tested it with the Daniel Hertz Ambers, and I tested it with new speakers from Thomas over at Galeon Audio. And these are the Voyager TLs, they're transmission line speakers. They come in at around 1200 bucks. The combination of the 6L6 amp with these transmission line Voyager speakers from Galeon was really a stunning match. And these speakers are special in a way because they offer up a very smooth sound. Uh, Thomas voiced these speakers to have a big smooth mid-range, a smooth top end, and plenty of bass in a bookshelf size speaker. These are darker speakers than most, warmer speakers than most, but that is a good thing when you're listening to say rock and roll, heavy metal, dance music, anything that requires that oomph that punch, that kick, that foundation to the music, the bass, these sound really big and full. But these speakers are voiced so differently from most others that I've heard, and I'm really, really digging them. I'm gonna have a review soon of them. But these speakers were designed to give a smooth performance up top, 
a big, smooth mid-range that is fat and offers projection into the room and a solid foundation of bass. Now, these speakers are warm and smooth just as they were designed to be, and it makes an excellent pairing for the Brunoco amp. As a matter of fact, I think the Brunoco comes in at $3,400 and it's well worth every penny. Uh, I'll talk about more about that in a minute. And the speakers are $1,200. So under five grand, you can have a really killer tube amp setup with music that's going to sound rich, full-bodied, and smooth. None of that uh, harsh treble or brightness at all. Um, so this amp has 20 watts per channel, which sounds really low. But when you're putting in a tube amp with these big transformers, that power, uh, it always sounds like more power than they're rated for. Now, this puts out a lot of current as well. So it was able to drive all the speakers I have here with absolute ease. And these Galeon speakers are like 80, I don't know if they're 84, 86, they're, they're harder to drive, but it was not a problem for the Brunoco amp. Now I'm in a 13 by 18 space, so take that uh, into consideration. You don't want a 20 watt amp in a huge 50 foot wide room, right? So in a smaller room, medium room, this amp I feel would provide plenty of power for almost any speaker made, even though it's rated to only 20 watts. I was jamming out to some hard and heavy music in here with this combo, and I had it so loud that my wife Debbie was driven out of the room, And but it still remained smooth, powerful the sound just kind of got bigger and bigger um, sometimes when you have a tube amp with low power when you turn it up the sound gets thinner and a little weaker um, but the 20 watts of power here seem to handle any speaker i threw at it uh, it sounded absolutely gorgeous with the closer acoustic augies and bass open baffles those excel in the detail area and you're hearing every little detail with an airy treble and you got that nice solid bass from the open baffle units. Now this amp, I love the design of it. I love the square corners, the all metal design. I like all the screws up top. It gives it this industrial look, but it's also very clean, very solid. The two knobs on the front, the input selector on the left, the volume control on the right, they're very solid. They don't feel loosey-goosey or anything like that. I love the look of this amp. Even when you push the button in the middle, a little blue light glows. And that's all you have. You don't have a bunch of lit up buttons. You don't have switches. It's very clean and minimalistic. And this, is, again, is a pure analog amp. And there's something to like about that because all of these amps these days are everything is digital, 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 which is nice. They're great. They sound wonderful. But if you're itching for that um, old school analog performance and analog vibe, a tube amp such of this will give you that experience. Now, this is not a tube amp that sounds warm, mushy, ooey, and gooey. It's not like pouring honey over a biscuit. Um, it has clarity up top from these 6L6 tubes, a little glassy, but in a good way. I mean, you're getting the detail, but it's not uh, offensive. Um, the mid-range is really clear. It's not a big, fat, full-throated mid-range. It's a clear, detailed mid-range that comes out a little bit into the room with the voices. When you pair that with those Galleon speakers, it's kind of a really nice match, a nice, fat, warm sound coming from that combo. Um, the bass on the Bernoco 6L6 amp is pretty powerful. It actually has, I would say, more prevalent bass than the Access Forte 1 solid state amp I have here. So as a complete package, it has the layering going on with a three-dimensional sound stage. You have really nice bass, a really clear, detailed, but at the same time, it has some fullness in the mid-range and that nice top end that you get from tubes such as 6L6. It offers an exciting uh, presentation, but at the same time, it's a rich, smooth, um, organic type of presentation. It still sounds like tubes, but it's modern day tubes. Now, what I love about this amp also is the fact that it's completely auto-biasing. You don't have to go in every 30, 60 days with a screwdriver and adjust the bias. Not that that's hard to do. It takes five minutes or so, or maybe a minute if you're quick at it. But I love knowing that the amp is taking care of the biasing. You see this in other amps that cost more money. Now, this is not a cheap amp. On Amazon, you can get a tube integrated amp EL34 KT88s for around 15, 1600 bucks these days. 
I've talked about some of these budget amps in the past. They're really, really good. But I have to say, this amp is more refined. This sounds more like a high-end tube amp. And as a matter of fact, I had a high-end tube amp in here and integrated uh, not so long ago from an American company. The, the transformer buzzed like mad, um, and I had to send it back without review. It was double the cost of this Terra 6L6 from Brunoco. Now, $3,400, again, it's not cheap, but you do get what you pay for a lot of times in life. It does come from South Korea. This is where the Hi-Fi Rose line of products come from, and they have all been excellent in my opinion. So this is a quality high-end amp for music lovers. It's very musical. It's very, um, gives you the clarity. It gives you everything that you're looking for in sound. It doesn't have really any drawbacks that I can think of besides it doesn't come with a remote control. If you're going to want to change the volume, you have to get up off your rear end and go up to the amp and adjust the volume. Now, I've gotten used to doing that with the Daniel Hertz Maria amp over the last, I don't even know how long it's been, six, nine months now. And so I've become accustomed to not having a remote. I agree, though, it is nice to have a remote from your listening uh, position. And when I listen to other amps, I definitely use the remote. But this one does not have a remote. But for me, that doesn't take away anything from it. It kind of adds to the simplistic nature of this amp. Again, four RCA inputs, speaker taps on the back for 8 ohm and 16 ohm, depending on uh, your speaker's load, and uh, a very powerful sounding 20 watts. Now, this is a push-pull configuration. Bernoco says this is class A operation as well. So overall, if you're looking for a really quality tube integrated amp that sounds beautiful and looks beautiful, and uh, is made to a high standard, this is one I can highly recommend. As a matter of fact, of all the tube amps I've had in life and heard in life and reviewed in life, uh, the one that this reminds me of the most are those line magnetic amps that I used to just adore. They were so beautiful in looks, design, and sound. Uh, but this one is a cleaner design, uh, sounds just as good, just as beautiful, and uh, it's just a beautiful amp. It also shipped in a really nice box. Very, very, one of the sturdiest boxes that I've seen an amp ship in. So it arrived safe and sound. And uh, yeah, this is an amp I can highly recommend. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. And I will see you guys really soon. I'm going to have a new review here in two, three days. So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to be notified when a new video uploads. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one.